Somebody Sir. is a Filipino. His name is Eddie, the Filipino phenom Yagen. We've seen him fight here in the PFC as we have seen him fight all over the world. He's a very proud fighter originally from Hawaii, now training on the ninth island known as Las Vegas at Cobra Kai. And I'll tell you what, I'm sure he's hope, hoping to continue the Filipino winning streak started just last week by none other than Manny Pacquiao. When you say Pacquiao, you gotta say Pacquiao. Pacquiao! You gotta, it's emotion. There's a lot Pacquiao. going on with that guy, and the whole community is Pacquiao. really uplifted right now. So, uh, should be a great fight. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Uh, the people behind you just jumped out of their seats. But like I said, in all seriousness, Eddie Yagen, a very tough fighter, originally coming out of Hawaii, uh, known to be able to take a punch and give a punch. Uh, relatively well-rounded as well, so look for him to be impressive. And Casey Olsen, his opponent, is also very tough. Yeah. Last fight, uh, Eddie Yagen in the Palace here beat a very tough Sean Bias, who's uh, popular here in the Palace. And uh, this is a fight uh, I think that uh, the, the winner could go up and uh, contend for the title at 145. And I really believe that is the plan for both these guys. See if he lives up to his name, he is the phenom. Moxie, if you come out to Eye of the Tiger, and this is none other than Casey, the underdog Olsen, coming out of Fresno. He trains at the pit with none other than John Hackleman, also Antonio Banuelos in his corner, followed up by the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. Casey has fought here at the PFC before and been very impressive along to his 9-2 and two record. Yep. Yeah, nine and two, great record there. Uh, at some point, you'd figure they'd stop calling him the underdog. Uh, I don't know what the nickname's all about, but uh, he's picking up some wins and he's looking to get another big one here. That was Former great. wrestling All-American, uh, looking to uh, make a big name in MMA. Let's throw it into our ring announcer. His name is Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go with the BFC featherweight elimination attraction scheduled three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at five feet four inches, he weighed in at 145.2 pounds. He is a freestyle fighter with a record of 12 wins, three losses, and one draw, with four knockouts and five submissions to his credit. Fighting out of Cobra Kai Jiu-Jitsu in Las Vegas, Nevada, please welcome the Filipino phenom, Eddie. Yagen. And his opponent across the ring on my right. Fighting out of the red corner in this three round attraction, standing at five feet eight inches, he weighed in at 144.8 pounds. He is a freestyle fighter. His record nine wins, two losses, with two knockouts and two submissions. Representing the world renowned pit fight team, fighting out of Fresno, California. Introducing Casey, the underdog. Now to give instructions, three three-minute rounds. All right, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Follow the rules at all times. I want a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Let's go. You guys ready for the Cecil People's Karate Chop? Yeah, one of the best <laughs> starts to any fight. Watch Cecil People's get this game going. Bang. Yeah. That, that would have broke a two-by-four, no doubt. For at least... I think he could have broken a steel eye beam. <laughs> nice jab there nice by Yagen. Yagen is his hands relatively low, and I would assume because he is ready to sprawl. 
Yep. I think he's more concerned about Casey's wrestling ability than his punches. But Casey trained at the pit. You should be wary of those punches and the kicks, the Hawaiian Kempo. One thing Casey's been known for, he'll come out, he'll test your jabs and your, your throwing and striking, and if he feels that he's gonna be overmatched, he'll try to take you down. Yep. That's one thing about being a great wrestler, you can control the fight, you know? You're winning on the feet, you got the ability to keep it there. Hey! Oh! Huge overhand right, wow! I thought he was out there. He should have kept hitting out. him, but he went for the uh, guillotine. I, I think the ground woke him up, to be honest. And this is a great uh, submission to go right for. Now. Wow, look at that choke. He's trying to take advantage of the guillotine while his opponent was dazed there. Casey's face is turning purple. That guillotine that tight tap. Done. Very impressive. Holy dynamite in the right hand for Eddie Yagen, the Filipino phenom. He's known to have a hard head, but tonight he had a hard right hand. And not a very hard time. Boom! I, I'm telling you right there, when Casey bounced off the ground and woke him back up, yep. he was out going down, hit the ground and woke up for a second, only to find Eddie Yagen on top of him. Like a noose. And was able to finish with that guillotine. Great smarts by Eddie Yagen there. Saw he woke up and just, yeah. you know, Knew he's going to be out of his wits and not be able to defend a submission. Also, a great way to set up that right hand. He faked the takedown, immediately shot that right hand over the top. You know, like we talked about, that's the transition in MMA, to be able to mix your grappling and your striking. And Eddie Ogden showed us a perfect example of how that can help you win a fight. Yagen loves that guillotine. I love to see how many wins he has by guillotine. I, uh, I believe he guillotined his last opponent, too, Sean Bias. I think you're right. We are ready for all your official particulars and our winner from Jimmy Ladies Lemons Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is 1 minute 16 seconds in round number one. A guillotine joke ends this contest. As the fighter taps out, he is the winner by way of submission, the Filipino phenom, Eddie Yagen. Let's send it to the ring to Andre Covington with our winner, the Filipino phenom, Eddie Yagen. First, let's talk to our winner, Eddie, the Filipino phenom, Yagen. I gotta tell you, you're riding the wave. First Manny Pacquiao, now you, you come in. I guess there's no cuddling going on today. You came out fired up and ready to go. Thank you. <laughs> I just saw. Uh, I trained my ass off for this, and I know Casey was gonna be tough as hell, so I was ready for a good fight. Um, sorry about you, Dad. Man, I respect you. Yeah. But thank you for um, letting me fight in this event, PFC. Thank you, Cobra Kai. And thank you for, if you love me, please do it.